Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Golf Luxury. Let's head into the truth of Tiger Woods' success. Who is Tiger Woods? Tiger Woods is a professional golfer who set an amazing career in motion in 1997, when he became the youngest man and the first African-American to win the US Masters. Pro golfer Tiger Woods won the US Masters at Augusta in 1997 with a record score at age 21, making him the youngest man and the first African-American to earn the title. Woods won another 13 majors and was named the PGA Player of the Year 10 times over the next 12 years, but he struggled to retain his top form after personal problems surfaced in 2009. With his victory at the 2019 Masters, Woods claimed his first major title in nearly 11 years, and he went on to tie Sam Snead's career record of 82 PGA Tour wins later that year. Early Life Eldrick Taunt Woods, better known as Tiger Woods, was born on December 30, 1975 in Cypress, California, the only child of an African-American army officer father and a Thai mother. When Woods was a child, his father began calling him Tiger in honor of a fellow soldier and friend who had the same moniker. As a young boy, Woods learned to play golf. His father, Earl, served as his teacher and mentor. By the age of eight, Woods had become extremely proficient at the game, even showing off his skills on television shows such as Good Morning America. A golf prodigy Woods studied at Stanford University and won a number of amateur US golf titles before turning professional in 1996. He shot to fame after winning the US Masters at Augusta in 1997 with a record score of 270 at the age of 21. Woods was the youngest person to earn the title and the first African-American to accomplish this feat. In his first appearance at the British Open later that year, Woods tied the course record of 64. The next few years brought even more successes, including four US PGA titles, three US Open wins, three Open Championship wins, and three US Masters wins. On a Thursday morning two years ago, on the one-week anniversary of Tiger Woods' opening 68 at the Masters, I find myself thinking about his closing six holes on Sunday. He made that 10 on the par 3 12th, a moose, old golf hands were calling it by Sunday night, hands above the ears, fingers spread out. And then there's what he did from the 13th to the house. Two put birdie on the par 5 13th, two put par on the par 4 14th after nearly holing his first putt from 35 feet. Up and down birdie on the par 5 15th, driver, three wood, chip, putt, one putt birdie on the par 3 16th after stuffing a tee shot to the uncustomary back right Sunday pin, one putt birdie on the par 4 17th, making a six footer. And then onto the par 4 18th, where at last year's Masters, he made a leaking oil bogey to win on Masters Sunday. This year on Masters Sunday, he made a one putt birdie on that hole after an uphill take that 315 yard drive and hold a putt from five feet. As you've read a hundred times by now, after making 10 on 12, Woods played the final six holes in five under par. No two hour period in his golfing life ever revealed more about the man. The pride, the athletic pride, the pride of the man, the ultimate secret to his success. Tiger's natural gifts are obvious to anyone who has been watching him over the past quarter century. Woods is 44 with a smooth face and scarred body, but his fierce pride and obsessive desire to make virtually every shot count makes him one of the best grinders to ever play the game. It is why you can never count him out. He'll make the cut. He's come back from physical injury and personal humiliation. He has been down, but he has never been out. Woods made that moose, and you know what he had to be thinking to himself, that's not me. He got, to use a phrase of his father's first game, baseball, the red ass. As he has his whole career, Tiger turned anger into focus and focus into superb golf. Yes, it takes immense skill to do what he did on those final six holes, but if he had let that 10 settle in him, if he had let it define him even for the day, we would have seen him sleepwalk through those final six holes. He played like a man on fire, a man contending. The whole thing brought to mind a famous Joe DiMaggio quote. 
A reporter asked the great Yankee center fielder why he played so hard. Because there's always some kid who may be seeing me for the first time, DiMaggio said. I owe him my best. That's Tiger. Even if his gaze is more inward than to the rope lines, Tiger is going to show himself. It's not by coincidence that Tiger raised Bernard Langer's name on a regular basis these days. He sees himself in Bernard. Bernard has no quit. At the Memorial Tournament this year, Woods had a solid first round 71. He looked good. As is often the case these days, his body is day to day. In the second round, it seems like he might not break 80. He finished with two birdies and a par for 76 and made the cut on the number. When he came in, he was in a grumpy mood but took questions from reporters anyhow. I happened to be the last in line. There was a line and asked him to define grinder. Anyone who fights all day, Woods said. Guys that don't ever want to make bogeys. That's about perfect. That's why Woods made 142 consecutive cuts, a PGA Tour record from 1998 to 2005. Grinding, grinding, grinding. The pride, the pride, the pride. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure that you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.